This week was truly hectic with the new model release from Anthropic, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, being their most intelligent coder, and the results I got personally was just truly insane. With all this going around, some other releases blew over my head, and that is the release of Gemini's Code Assist. This is where Google DeepMind is launching a free version of their Gemini Code Assist tool that will be available globally, and this is to help you build faster. For the people who do not know, it's an AI coding assistant for any language. Gemini Code Assist brings the power of Gemini 2.0, whether that is Flash or Pro to your IDE at zero cost. It has a chat interface that you can use within your IDE, and it's aware of your code. It has automatic code completion as you write, and there is code generation with transformations of full functions or files on demand. It has a limit of 6,000 code related requests, as well as 240 chat requests daily that can assist you through your tasks. There is also a 128K context window, which is also nice. You can use Gemini Code Assist through Visual Studio Code as well as through JetBrains IDE and it's essentially a free version of GitHub Copilot. Now this is just my opinion but I believe that Gemini Code Assist is countering GitHub Copilot's free trial where they give out free model requests but in this case you're going to be able to access Google's free requests through their Gemini models where you have a larger request limit in comparison to GitHub Copilot and this will help you experience coding with fewer limits, reduce your code review time, as well as helping improve quality, get relevant code, and chat with the larger context window. This is similar to the extension that you would see like Klein, and you have the ability to build app, app different types of apps with AI assistance in Firebase. Ever wish you had a superhuman teammate to handle your day-to-day -day tasks? Well, allow me to introduce Zapier Agents your new AI teammates that work across 7,000 plus apps so you can focus on what truly matters. In just minutes, you can build a custom AI agent using plain English. Imagine an assistant that processes leads, answers emails, and even manages your calendar while you sleep. It's intelligent automation at its finest. Whether you're summarizing news for your blog, organizing form responses, or generating SEO-friendly articles, Zapier agents have you covered. They seamlessly sync with your live business data to deliver accurate, up-to-date responses every time. I've integrated Zapier agents into my everyday workflows and it's transformed the way I work. From automating emails to managing complex data tasks, my AI teammates let me focus on what truly matters. Join over 50,000 businesses who have already revolutionized their work with intelligent AI automation. And the best part is, you can try a free two-week trial. Ready to build your AI-powered dream team? Click the link in the description below so that you can easily get started with Zapier agents today. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. To get started, it's super simple. You need to make sure that you have an ID, whether that's VS Code or JetBrains, and then you can go over and install it through their marketplace by going over to this link, which I'll leave in the description below. Open up Visual Studio Code and then go ahead and install it through their marketplace. So now it is going to go ahead and allow me to install and we're going to go ahead and trust the publisher and install it. Do this at your own discretion. But once it has finished installing, you're going to be able to access it on the left hand panel of your IDE. And guys, remember, this is something that has been able to provide proficient code in 20 plus programming languages, including Java, JavaScript, Python, C, C++ and many others. So now that it has installed, we're going to go ahead and sign in with Google so that we can access Gemini Code Assist. Once you sign in, this is what you're going to be greeted with. You have a pretty nice looking chat interface. And what we're going to do is simply go ahead and open up a random file that we have been working with. So let's go over to our desktop. This is actually a resume AI SaaS app that I created with the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. And I definitely recommend that you watch that video because it was truly insane as to what I created. But now we can start chatting with the files that we have uploaded. So we have our HTML file and we're going to ask it, is there anything in this file that you can improve on? We can go ahead and send in this request to showcase a rough example of what it's capable of doing. So now the Gemini code assist is going to work on analyzing the context that we had provided 
This is an HTML file for the code and it's going to be able to give us a suggestion on what it can do. So right now we can see that it is giving us a couple of things that it can work on. An example of the improved snippet. So if you want to use this, what you can do is you can actually use the same sort of feature that you would get with cursor or many of the other types of code assistants like the ones that we saw with uh, GitHub Copilot. And you can actually diff with open file edits so you can see the different changes. You can accept it or decline it. And you can actually see the next change by clicking on this button. So you have a really nice uh, user interface as well as a user experience that makes it easier for you to use this. And you can swap left and right between the different changes, show leading and trailing white space indifferences. And you can also have it so that you can make inline edits by going ahead into our HTML file. And what you can do is say if you want to select a certain area, you can ask it to explain this by going over the chat interface, or you can click on this Gemini Code Assistant uh, Smart Action button. This is where you have the ability to generate new code. You can fix, you can propose the fix for errors, you can explain this, or you can even generate unit test. So to showcase the proficiency of Code Assist in terms of building applications, we're going to go ahead and have it build out an onboarding flow within HTML that includes the steps of collecting client information and guiding users. And the reason why is because I want to showcase how easy it is for you to work with this in terms of generating things. So there we go. We have the HTML uh, file that has been generated. We're going to first go ahead and have it implemented into our folder. To do so, you can insert into a current file. So you can either create one or you can go ahead and copy this. And like we said, you can accept this by going ahead and clicking on accept. And what you can do next is have it focus on the CSS styling as well as the JavaScript logic. And there we go. We have our CRM onboard application fully developed. We're going to go ahead and put in the basic information about us. So then it will then ask us our company company name. So we can just name world of AI. Our website is worldofai.com. The industry, we can just select technology, company size, and then move forward. I had to put in a valid URL and now we can go ahead and input a couple of different services. So let's just select a couple of other things and then our primary goal, grow our business. And then we can go to the next step. We can then add a team member. And once that is done, you can review all the information that you've added and you can complete onboarding. And that's essentially how we were able to fully develop the CRM onboard where it also provides notifications. It is now going to also onboard the call and you're going to then be sent over an email with the login credentials and then you can schedule an orientation call. So that was something simple I was able to develop with the Gemini Code Assist within a couple of seconds. This is truly a remarkable app because you can do a lot with it and it's really similar as to what you can do with GitHub Copilot and many of the other coding assistants. You can ask to fix, fix things, you have inline edits. In this case, you can have it so that you can work on implementing anything to improve on making your code better. Or you can even have it so that you can add suggestions to providing even new code being generated. Or you can even ask it to explain this snippet over here. This is the flexibility that you get with Gemini Code Assist and it's something that I truly recommend that you try out. But that's essentially it for today's video on the new Gemini Code Assist that is now available completely for free for you to access. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the newsletter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Follow me on the Patreon to join our Discord, as well as following me on Twitter to get instant updates on what's happening in the world of AI. And lastly, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.